Hello friends, welcome. I am really glad you're here with me today. I have a card plan for today that is one that just epitomizes the kind of cards that I often need to send. So I think it's a really cute and funny. So let's go ahead and switch our camera and take a look at it. All right, so the products that we're gonna use today are the Going Caddy, I believe, yes, Going Caddy. And specifically, I'm using this really fun cat right here, and I'm using this little cat down here. I'm using the relatively new uh, Retro, let me get the name right, it's the Retro Mod die set. This is an oldie, but a goodie. This one is called, well, I don't have the name of it. Let me see. It is the fish bowl with the little fish. It's the meow and the perfect cat, the drama queen. And we're going to be using the fish bowl quite a few times. And we're also going to be using the drama queen word. I'm using these fun uh, dies. There's a couple sets of these and they are called the revealers. And we're going to be using these two here on the bottom. I'm using my chunky alphabet, the eek word, and the Boca Bliss paper pad. And specifically, I'm using this fun purple polka dot one down here. So now that you've seen the products we're going to be using, I have most of my pieces all cut out here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I went ahead and cut the purple uh, Boca paper down to uh, four, and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half. I cut out our retro frame dies here in white and then one here in a solid purple. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that together. This is going to be my uh, card base. I've been misplaced losing my pins, so I'm going to start sticking it in this little foam piece, see if that helps me keep track of it. So we're just going to go ahead and put our card base together here. Oops. Should fit perfectly on there. I may have to do some trimming. Okay. Now we're just going to add our frame. I love this retro frame. It really is a fun vibe. And I'm going to tilt it just a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to add in this purple piece into the center. All right, so my card today, we're going to need to cut the fish bowl. Pull that set out. The, the fish bowl here, I'm going to cut that out multiple times. I'm going to cut it out once out of a blue vellum. Or I suppose even if you had a white vellum, it would still work. Mine's tinted a little bit blue. I'm going to cut it out twice out of a blue cardstock. This is just a light blue cardstock. And then I'm going to use my two revealers, just one edge of it, to give myself a fun edge. So I wanted this one to look like a big splash. So I used this piece right here. But then on this one, I wanted it to be a little bit of water movement, but not as big a splash as this one. So I used this next one up that's a little less curvy. And that is how I got the splashes on what's going to be the water in my fish bowl. And you can see on this one, I've defined the edges a little bit, and I'm gonna do that again here on this one. And I just did that by flicking the edges with a little bit of cummerbund ink. I'm just going to go all the way around. All right. There we go. And I did cut a second one out of vellum. So I have two out of vellum, two out of that. And then I also cut one out of a clear acetate. So here I'll hold that over the purple. Hopefully you can see it, but that's just another piece out of clear acetate. And we are going to build ourselves a couple fish bowls. Now I also took the two uh, little uh, fish here and I die cut just their tails out of this color blue. And I did that because we're going to use those to make ourselves some splashes. 
So you can see here, these are just the tails of those two fish. And I'm gonna use my scissors to trim them down to make myself some little water droplets. So another way to do this is if you have a heart. Hearts make great water droplets because I wanted a nice splash. So for this one right here, there's one. Oops, and this one's still on my finger. This one's the hardest because it's the smallest, but we're just gonna cut that out. There we go. And then the big one here, same thing. I'm just gonna trim that down. There we go. Let's see here. Hopefully you can see how I'm just, just giving it the shape to make it look like like a raindrop, kind of giving it a teardrop shape. There we go. All right, so this one right here I might need to work on just a little bit. It's so tiny, it's just kind of hard, but there we go. Okay, so now I've got myself four water droplets. So I have gone ahead and in advance, I went ahead and stamped and colored my images. So here I've got this crazy cat and I've got this one right here all colored up. Now for my purposes today, I just need the cat. I don't need my uh, pumpkin right here. So I've gone ahead and I have cut them apart. So I have this cat right here. So now that we have all these pieces, let's go ahead and build our fish bowls. So to start out, I'm going to add glue to my blue piece and we're going to glue this down into one of the vellum bowls. All right. Now our crazy cat, we're going to put him right in there in the water. Kind of covers up a lot of my splash, but, but that's okay. All right, now, to get my acetate attached, I'm going to add my splashes of water strategically so that I can add my glue underneath my water droplets. All right, so there I've got them positioned around. But before I do that, I wanna add a little bit of this color, the cummerbund, around my splashes. Otherwise, they're not gonna be seen very well. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just glue them onto my acetate, and hopefully they will stay. I usually use tape, so if they won't stay, I'll get some tape, whoops. Slippery little guys. All right. Is that going to stay? I think it might stay for us. All right, so I'm just going to again add. I'm going to try it with these tweezers, see if that's easier. There we go. going to put one kind of up here at the top as if that water is splashing right out of the bowl and I'm gonna have to put one right down here in order to hold my acetate bowl on top of the others and you won't see the the glue underneath sorry as a half sentence one there we go Okay, so now I'm going to take my bowl where I already have my water droplets on there, turn it over, and this is where I'm going to add my glue. And if this isn't enough, I can make myself some more water droplets to add on there, but I think that will hold it for me. 
just hold it right here. All right, perfect. So we have our first, <laughs> our cat right here inside the fishbowl, which I'm sure this is not where he wants to be. And I'm gonna add a little bit of foam tape on the back of this image. I'm gonna make sure I keep my foam down below my water. And I'm gonna add him right here onto my cover. Now, I have also gone ahead and cut, die cut and glued together my sentiment for here on the front that says eek. And again, I'm going to add a little bit of foam onto the back of this piece. And you can see that I went ahead and cut the letters out of my extra uh, purple bokeh paper. And this cat, you could say, is having quite the reaction to slipping into the water bowl. So just to add a little more interest to my uh, card front, I'm going to add some of these fun little star shapes that come with the retro dot mod uh, frame set. I think these are so fun. So we're going to add a couple of the, two or three of these onto the front here. There we go. Now I don't always decorate the inside of my cards, but this one, in order to complete my scene, I needed to uh, do the inside of the card as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to do for that. And let's see. Do I, want the, I think I want it down here. There we go. All right, so here is our card front. Now let's go ahead and work on our inside of our card. And I need to get myself a card base because it looks like I didn't grab one. Them right here. Just had to open a new package. I usually have a whole stack of them right next to me, but I used them up. Go ahead, fold that. Now, before I add my card front, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on the inside. So, on the inside of my card, again, we're going to take our fish bowl and we're gonna glue on the water. Now, I'm only adding glue on the bottom part because I'm going to tuck my cat into this water. As if he's kind of um, raising himself up out of the bowl. Okay, so we're going to put him right in there. And I like his little hand. The way it was holding the pumpkin, I can set his little hand right on the water a little bit there. So it just looks like he's coming up out of the water. Now, I know you can't see his body down in the water, but that's okay because we're going to add more of our sentiment right here. And look, I glued his head down. We're going to add more of the sentiment on there, but I'll go ahead and I'm only adding glue behind the solid paper, not the acetate. There we go. All right, now I have used the chunky alphabet to cut myself a question mark, and I have the words drama queen. And so we are going to add those right onto our fishbowl. And if you're like me, and sometimes you're prone to have um, really large reactions to things, this might be a card that you need to send to someone. Or if you have a friend that is uh, described in the drama queen category, this might be a fun card to send. If you've had a funny situation going on and someone has had a over-the-top reaction, which in my family, that's pretty often. <laughs> so... I just love this drama queen and the way this cat is reacting on the front. 
is perfect. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and add this. Right here. All right, so I am going to either write with a black marker up here and put the words who me, or there is a stamp within our stamp set. Let me grab it. That says you're one crazy cat. So for this one, I am going to stamp it with the you're one crazy cat. But you can also type in or type in write in the words who me with a question mark if you're the one that is prone to overreacting so I just love how this card turned out I'm going to go ahead I'm going to glue our little uh, star shape I they cut out in twos so I never like to waste a piece if I don't have to I'm just going to place that right up there and grab some black ink make sure I've got it right side up and go ahead and just stamp that right inside all right you are one crazy cat okay let's go ahead and add our card front I just love this cat splashing around, totally overreacting because he's getting wet. And then what? Drama queen? Who, me? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that uh, you enjoyed making this fun little card. We're going to go ahead and switch the camera back. Thanks again for joining me. If you don't have any of these products but you're interested, you can uh, look down below the videos and there should be a link there for you. And do head over to Whimsy Stamps and check out the new releases. They're, they uh, released some Christmas, some really fun Christmas things this month and uh, more to come. So go over there and check out the goodies. And thanks so much for joining me. I look forward to crafting with you again next week. Bye-bye.